everyone welcome back to my channel welcome back to another halloween tutorial on today's list we are going to be doing the nun valak demon as you can already tell by my intro um this tutorial is pretty simple it, it's just the basics white and black face paint i already covered up my brows so now we're going to be taking our grease paint i usually don't use cream or grease paints but this was at walmart and it was 98 cents so i <laughs> went ahead and picked that up and it's just in the color white and i just started to stamp that all over my face i did do about two coats of this because it was pretty sheer and after the two coats, I still went in with some Ben Eye Super White setting powder and that really helped out the evenness of the white face paint. I then took my Mayron's water activated paint and I used the black in there and I started putting that all over on top of my eyelids. I really didn't take this above my eyelids because after that I did go in with a black eyeshadow and blended all of that out. So really just stamp this onto your eyelids and like I said, go over that, setting it with a black eyeshadow and then taking that same black eyeshadow and really buffing it out and blending it all over and around the eyes. I really like these looks because you can't really mess them up. I mean, you can make them however you want, especially Halloween looks. Um, but I always do use a reference photo of the character as well just to kind of go from there and kind of play with it and add wherever I want. But yeah, basically just add that black and blend it up and around the eyes. Now, like I said, using a reference photo is going to be your best bet. Um, I tried to do this without looking at the reference photo first and as you guys can tell, I messed that up. And even then, I still ended up messing it up. Um, the black lines on the jaw, I don't think should have been drawn on so heavily. So, try to make it look like it's more shaded and not actually two lines drawn down the face. I mean, it worked out in the end, but yeah, I feel like it should have been more like of a shadow instead of an actual, you know, like line coming out of my face. Um, but yeah, use a reference photo to do this part, but you guys can just go ahead and see what I did. I then tried to make the illusion that my nose was longer than it actually is and I then started to put some black paint on my lips and make this really messy. Messy lips are already my favorite so I really enjoyed doing this part. But after you have your lips on with the black face paint, go ahead and set them and put some black eyeshadow on top of them. Ay, ay, ay. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the shading around my nose. Her nose is crooked, and I think the nose is really what kind of sells it when it comes to this look. Um, so try to make the nose crooked, and you can do that with the black eyeshadow, heavily applying the eyeshadow where the part, where the crooked part you want to be on there, and that's me getting into character. Yeah, anyways, I love doing the nose. It was like really fun. After that, start shading around your face. This really doesn't matter because we're going to be covering up with your costume like this. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> but try to make a line where your costume ends and blend upwards into that gray shadow. So it just kind of like gives it more of a messier look and doesn't make the paint just look super flat on your forehead. And now I'm just blending some more of those harsh lines. And adding some age lines, you know, the nun's got some pretty heavy crow's feet and stuff going on. So, start doing some lines. And, yeah. I was just looking at a reference photo and then, um, to be honest, I just kind of added lines wherever I felt I wanted them to be. So, yeah. She has like that cracked old age skin. So, just go ahead and do whatever you want. All right, so now I'm just adding some more black face paint onto the parts where I feel like it kind of started to fade away. So I went ahead and added some more on my lips and on my eyes. And now I'm taking a stippling sponge and going back and forth with white and black face paint to add texture onto my skin. Go ahead and go crazy with this because I feel like I didn't add enough. So more is better when it comes to this because her face is really textured and that's what we want to really show up now i decided to black out my neck 
a little bit. Um, I don't know. It was just kind of a, a last minute thing. But yeah, I think this is the last step. Yeah. And then I just put some mascara on and blacked out my eyes using some black eyeliner. Let's get into our costume. My costume is very cheap and from Amazon. If you want to wear this for Halloween, buy a more expensive costume. Because this one's not going to work, honey. Thank you guys so much for watching another Halloween tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember, if you are going to be wearing this for actual Halloween, invest in a better costume. I got this one for like 10 bucks on Amazon and it really, it does the job for pictures and stuff, but not really if you're going to um, actually go out because it's kind of, it's not good quality. Uh, here's the final look. I really liked it. If you have contacts, it's going to be like right here. And if you have contacts, the level is going to be like this much better. But here's my final look for Valak D. None. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you, Christina, for being the inspiration behind this video because I know you love it. Yeah, thank you guys so much again for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.